Welcome back to another episode of Airgun Hunter UK. So on the bench today, I have a brand new pellet. It's the HNN Barracuda 8. Uh, I've got a sample pack from Ada iHunter. That's iHunter.co.uk, one of the leading distributors in Britain for pellets and slugs. Make sure you go there and check him out. Absolutely fantastic site. I get all mine from him. Anyway, he sent me this sample. Wants me to have a look at it. Brand new pellet. Uh, they released it at the British Shooting Show 2023 and it's here on my bench. So let me get the info right. I want to read the bottom. It's the Barracuda 8 177 4.51 head size with a grain weight of 8.44 grain. So I'm going to go through the whole tin. I'm going to weigh the whole tin and see what variation there is in the pellets. Because when I used to shoot H&N way back when, uh, there was quite a bit of uh, weight variation in the tin. So I wanna see if they've sorted that out. Let's see what happens. So I'm not gonna film the whole thing because as you'll see in a minute, these scales are so temperamental. It'll make the video ridiculously long, but we are going to weigh the whole tin and I am going to see if there's any variation in that tin. So let's get on with it. Right, you've joined me over halfway through weighing the tin. So far, there's no variation. I will show that. I am going to show transparency. I'm not trying to get away with anything, but we're going to continue. As I've said before, these are cheap eBay scales. So what you have to do, and it's a great job, honestly, especially with sausage fingers like mine. You have to tear it between ways and you have to balance it over and drop it on without touching the sensor pad to get an accurate weight so that's 8.4 which is exactly what all of those are just flicking it in there get another one eight point four i'm bound to mess it up on camera and if i do i'll reweigh it and i'll show you eight point four Honestly, guys, so far there's zero variation in this tin. 8.4. I don't know how bench rest shooters do this. Honest to God, this is so anal. It's annoying the life out of me. Right, I slightly touched the pad there, and it's this is what I meant. So that said, 8.2. These scales are bloody awful. See, look, 8.4. So any that weigh wrong, or sorry, any that weigh eight out of the 8.4, oh, I will weigh again. I dropped that one, but it's still 8.4. So, look, give them a right good mix up. And I'll just take random ones. I'm not trying to hide anything. And just, it's stressing me out weighing these, trying to do it like this. And recording the whole thing would have just sent me over the edge. <clears throat> oh, I touched it again. Bloody thing. 8.4 anyway. Let's grab some more. Just transparency you can see how much this is winding me up i don't know how anyone can possibly weigh a full tin i've just touched it without even bloody trying you've got to get it just over the just over the pressure pad and drop it <laughs> i'm about to smash all this up guys honestly 8.4 all right let's take some more you can see how stressful this is but i'm, I'm trying to show you that i, I aren't I'm, I'm not hiding anything 8.4 honestly just you 
I just keep touching that sensor pad just slightly with the base of my thumb and it just it sends it out 8.4 you can believe me or not I know I haven't filmed every single one of them but look I'm, I'm not trying to hide anything at all there is zero variation on the whole tin which is unheard of but it's there 8.4 I'm not trying to get away with anything I'm not hiding anything I just don't want the video to be ridiculously long it took me four minutes to show you that can you imagine going through the whole tin so at the moment absolutely zero variation through the whole tin honest to god there's no point in me measuring the head size because my caliper will measure when it works It'll measure 4.5 or 4.6 or 4.4. It won't measure the 4.5 one, as you can see. So I'm not even going to start going for head size. But hopefully you believe me. I don't care if you don't. It's a true and honest test. There is zero variation in that tin. Right then, we're out in a proper Yorkshire field doing proper Yorkshire things. It's about six degrees, there's not much wind. When it does blow, you feel it. It's absolutely freezing. Um, so, bear with me. The, but that's the gun that I've bought to do the testing with. Uh, that's a Ratwork tuned Air Marks Catrin C 177. It's got a CZ barrel. It's not very pellet fussy, it's quite a good gun. So, that's the one that I've chose to do. The testing with i've not actually run any through it yet so we'll see um set a target board up there that's set up at 10 yards the reason being these pellets i'm not actually quite sure they're going to cross over to pest control certainly not for me anyway because they're not heavy enough they're not what i'd use for pest control but i do dabble in a little bit of hft just friendly with some friends and i think if they're successful there could be a, a good hft uh, pellet so we'll see we'll see anyway so I'm going to do 10 20 30 40 and 50 yards I'm going to do a five shot group at each I'm not trying to knock the bull out I'm going to be aiming at the bullseye and we're going to see what like the grouping pattern I'm not going to re-zero my gun for a sample pack of pellets so I'm going to leave it on the zero that it's got we're going to try it we'll see if these pellets take any wind and how they fly hopefully so stay tuned Oh, I will just mention, sorry, bought my Pad V with me and I'm going to be shooting through that. I'm going to have a camera set up on the target board at the various ranges. I'm not going to film the 10 yard through the pod because it doesn't focus down that close on the scope. So I'm just going to shoot that, but I'll still have the camera at the target board and then we'll move out. I'll set the pod up and we'll see how we go from there on. But... I think a fair test of these pellets is 10, 20, 30, 40 and 50. Five shot groups and we'll see how they go.
Right then, we're back at home. We've got the target board that we've just shot in the field. So, <clears throat> at its widest point, let me get it bang on. At its widest point, the 10 yards is 7.9 millimeters. So we're gonna go over, and just up a touch. This is the 20 yard, and we'll measure it at different angles. I think that's its widest point there. Yeah, so 20 yards at its widest point is 9.1 millimeters. The 30 yards At its widest point is 13.5 millimeters. The 40 yard had one, I'm not gonna call it a flyer. I don't know if I pulled it, I don't know if the wind, but I'm just measuring various points to make sure I'm getting the widest point for you. That's 19.6 millimetres at 40 yards and the 50 yard. So I'll bring it back in. And at its widest point is 14 millimetres, one four. Now, I did shoot the 40 again off of camera just to see if I could do better. Um, and its widest point on that is 16.4 millimeters. So that's the target board. And that's what I just shot out in the field. What I will say is, I think my shooting will let the pellets down. I genuinely do. I'm not, I'm not making excuses or anything like that. I think these are fantastic. But I think a better shooter could do better. I'm not the best shooter in the world. I'm really not. I'm a pest control shooter. I hit what I aim at and, and I do well. But I'm not a bench rest person i'm not a hft person um i don't know what to say I, I think these pellets are fantastic i really do um call me a fanboy call me whatever you want i don't really care um i do i think they're fantastic look at the groups and i've shown you me shooting them i'm not messing about i'm not you know what i mean that's it that's they're there that's the measurements that's the groups make of it what you will I'm trying to be open, honest, transparent. I know I'm going to get some abuse. I do on every video, and I'm pretty much past caring. But that's the groups. That's the measurements. I think these pellets are going to be a serious contender. I really do. So take care. Cheers. Right, guys, that's me done with this review. Hopefully, I've laid it out in such a way that it's an open and transparent review. I'm not getting paid for the review. I was just asked if I want to have a look at them, and I did, so I have. Up here, you can see my good friend Matthew from Air Ability playing. Now, the reason for that is Matthew has also tried the Barracuda 8. Matthew makes no bones about telling you that he's sponsored by H&N. He is, but he's got a lot of integrity. He won't put out a false review. If it's good it's good if it's not he will tell you it's not so i'm going to put the link to his video in my video description so if you're going to watch mine pop over to the pop, pop down to the uh, description section 
click on his and have a look at his. His is done in much better conditions than mine and I think he does the pellet a little bit more justice. This pellet's fantastic. I'm definitely going to be buying some. I think it'll be more for the HFT competitions that I do with my friends rather than pest control just because of the weight. But I've laid it out for you. It's open, transparent, it's there. And I, I think this pellet is fantastic. So thanks for watching. Cheers, guys. Bye-bye.